once again, my friends, my fellow Wish and Liner lovers, fellow lovers of everything interesting, I'd like to welcome you to another video. And this video is going to be on this lovely lady, the SS United States. I've shown you artifacts in the past from this wonderful ship, and I always got to look out on eBay for little artifacts here and there. Um, from the deck plans, to the Guernsey's catalog, um, to the souvenir shop flag, to the various menus that I've shown you guys. What I'd like to show you guys today is another little lot that I had gotten off eBay not that long ago. Um, there's a couple of things that I want to show you. We'll take, it through, uh, take a look at this first. This is the postcard. You can see that very lovely picture. The SS United States, world's fastest liner. Now, I don't have any specific information to this postcard. They didn't put any, but on the back, um, it looks like it was actually used. Not quite sure what that says, um, but you can see the address. Got some information on the SS United States, the largest and most luxurious ship ever built in America. The world's fastest liner, 990 feet long, 101 feet, six inches broad, 53,300 gross tons. She established new transatlantic speed records, both eastbound and westbound. On a maiden voyage from New York, July 3rd, 1952, and from Europe, July 10th, 1952. This flagship of the United States lines and a running mate, the beautiful SS America, maintained regular frequent sailings between New York and Europe. Let's see what this says in the middle. Steel, Steelograph Company, 1 Broadway, New York, New York. Sorry, I had a hard time reading that through the lens of the camera. Um, but the absolutely beautiful painting on the front. And funny, talking about the blue ribbon, this model that I had made is from 1953 from Ravel. And that's one of the things I had wanted to add myself is I put the blue ribbon onto the, uh, to her display on her mast. So, we get the postcard, and the other thing that I had gotten in the lot, this is pretty cool, we've got a souvenir logbook, United States Lines, looking at the cover, and let's see, when we open it up, Quadruple Screw Turbine Steamship, United States, and at the time it was Captain L.J. Alexanderson, uh, excuse me, Captain L.J. Alexanderson, Captain. The abstract of the log, Voyage 94 westbound from Southampton to New York via Lahar. Left, let's see, 3.11 p.m. You can see in 1956 arrived. Let's see September 6, 1956. Distance 75 miles, streaming time 2 hours 55 minutes, average speed 25.86 knots. And you can see the dates the 7th, the 8th, the 9th, 10th, and 11th. The, the position of the ship the miles, the speed, the wind, and the remarks. This, this is really cool. Total distance, Lahar to New York, 3,155 miles. Steaming time, four days, eight hours, seven minutes. Average speed, 30.31 knots. Note, a nautical mile is represented. Let's see, I'm trying to read this through the lens. A nautical mile is approximately 15% longer than the statue or land mile. 
So that gives information on the voyage. And on the back, you've got the, what, the Beaufort wind scale. The wind description, the force, you can see calm, light air, light breeze to moderate, fresh breeze, strong breeze, and then we go all the way to hurricane strength above 75 miles an hour. The word radar means radio direction and ranging. If its principle is the sending out of the radio beam, having it strike an object and then being reflected back as an echo. The same as a tennis ball. This echo is presented on a screen so arranged through electrical circuits that the bearing and the distance can be determined. Radar, however, has definite limitations. This does not replace the human eye. Therefore, if the ship is delayed in fog, it has met conditions that are not even radar are able to overcome. Let's see, what is that? B36481001M356. That's pretty cool. And that is the souvenir log from this lovely lady. And we've got a postcard as well. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video on those two artifacts for this lovely lady. And until the next video, I'll talk to you soon.